If you say it's so hot out, out loud, then someone from Arizona will materialize out of thin air and tell you you've never experienced real heat before. But wait, what is that? Oh, it's a Florida man coming out to tell you that the humidity heat is way worse than that dry heat out in Arizona, and you ain't experienced nothing yet. Ah, oh, let the heat wars begin. What's going on, modern chodes? It's your boy Long Nail back again with another new video. And in today's video, we're going over the hot posts from r slash gatekeeping. Let's get into it. You don't get to complain about this if you didn't play this. Well, what's with this whole you don't get to have an opinion on something unless you're X years old or you've already done this thing? It makes no sense. People can have an opinion on whatever they want to have an opinion about. It might not be as backed by experience as your opinion, but that doesn't mean they shouldn't be allowed to have an opinion. Don't claim you celebrate 420 unless you drink all the water from that thing that you go out of. But who does that? That's so disgusting. I mean, I thought nobody does that. But then again, I'm not well versed in this area, so I probably don't even know what I'm talking about. Maybe this is right. I doubt it, because that seems extremely disgusting, but maybe. Adults who like Disney shouldn't be allowed to vote. What? What does liking Disney and having a right to vote have to do with anything? You, you realize there's people out here that vote that like way, way worse things than Disney? Yeah, l l let's let them vote, but if you like Disney, uh-uh. That's a no from me. I mean, there's so many people you look at and you go, wow, that guy gets the same vote as me. But in reality, it's necessary. Everybody needs to have their say. Whether you think it's a, a valid say or not, it only works if everybody gets a say. And you know what? At the end of the day, everybody looks at each other and goes, I can't believe that person gets to vote. Like, trust me, the same person you look at and you say that to, they look at 15 other people and they feel the exact same way you feel about them about other people. It's just a never ending cycle, which is why it would never work to go, oh, you only get to vote if you meet X criteria. It's, it just doesn't work. How you met Keanu Reeves, how I met him. <laughs> Bruh, please. All right, let's be honest. Whoever made this post and whoever they're referring to probably never actually met him. They just saw the movies and stuff that he's involved in, and now they go, oh, I was here first, so I'm better than you. Instead of just going, oh, that's great, you discovered somebody that I'm so passionate about, and that I love everything they do. Now, nah, that, that, that'd be way too simple, you know, to actually unite and be friendly with each other. That, that takes way too much energy. It's just so much easier to go, I discovered him first, you don't even get a say. It's like the same people that go, Psh, man, I invested in Bitcoin in like 2013. You don't even know what you're talking about. It's like, dude, without the people that are investing now, your investment in 2013 would mean nothing. Uh, this whole superiority complex about I did something first makes no sense. No real man is taking restaurant leftovers home. Not finishing your plate is kind of feminine. How is not finishing your plate feminine? Sorry, my stomach is full. I, I mean, I literally can't control that. And unless you're suggesting that in order to be able to finish every plate I sit down in front of, I just always eat beyond the point of full. But that kind of sounds like you're just intentionally trying to get fat for the sake of not being feminine from a viewpoint of a man who's clearly insecure about himself. I mean, I really hope this is just some weird satire that doesn't come across well, but I feel like this dude genuinely means it. And he's like, he looks at other dudes asking for a box to go and he's like, yep, I'm better than that guy. That guy gets to vote? Jeez. Someone really said to me, you're lucky you ride bikes. Gas prices are ridiculous. Just to be clear, I cycle. I don't ride a bike to get from point A to point B. Learn the difference, folks. I mean, this dude that's saying, oh, you're so lucky to ride a bike. Do you realize you can also go get a bike and ride places? I mean, you don't because you'd rather spend the money on gas, but yet you still 
tell this dude he's lucky when you literally have that same option and you're willingly choosing to not use it. Dude, go buy a bike and ride places or just let this man ride in peace. Don't talk to me about growing up poor if you've never had to boil a water to take baths. What? Boiling water and taking baths. Uh, I can't see the correlation here. Why would you need to boil water to take a bath? If anything, that just seems like you're wasting gas and electricity and water. I mean, what? Uh, I mean, cl clearly, I guess, in this guy's eyes, they didn't grow up poor because I can't even figure out if this is legit or not. Why on earth would you boil water to take a bath? Oh, uh, uh, whatever, dude. I mean, there's other people that would look at this and go, whoa, you had water? Yeah, I didn't even have water, man. I, I didn't get to take baths. But again, it's, it's always the one-upping. People will try to one-up each other regardless of if it's good or bad. They'll just be like, oh, psh, you think you were poor? You actually had water, dude. I didn't have water. It's like, well, what did we get from this, guys? We're competing on who was more poor, really? Just had a publisher tell me that because I'm bi, I'm not part of the LGBT community and not qualified to write about it. So that's something. Wait, what does the B stand for in that? Is it not bi? Oh, it is? That's interesting. It's almost like this person really just didn't care what you had to say and was trying to think of any excuse to get you to not write an article. This just goes to show no matter what, some people just always assume they're right and they don't even want to hear out the other side. It's so dumb. I mean, this dude literally found the most invalid excuse possible on why this person couldn't write about something. Clearly, they're involved in the community, but yet they still think somehow that they have a more valid opinion for whatever reason. It's like, dude, my opinion is better than yours. Your opinion's actually invalid. How do you come to that conclusion? All right, Modern Chodes, that's it for the hot post from r slash gatekeeping. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. And of course, share this video with your friends. And if you wanna help support the channel for free, anytime you have any shopping to do on Amazon, just click the link in the description down below. Do your shopping as regular. It won't cost you anything extra and it'll help support the channel. So I'd really appreciate it. Till next time. Peace.